Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com 10-part tutorial series on the Nexus One, also known as the Google Phone. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Android Market, which is where you'll download all the applications that you're going to want to install on your device. Currently there are about 15,000 in the market. So we see here on the default home screen, the market is one of the um, shortcuts. If we don't see it there, we can tap on the grid icon, which brings up a list of all of our applications, and we can find it in this list here. Now, when you first launch the Android market, you'll be presented with terms of use. They are quite long, but it, it would be an idea to at least skim them and get an idea of what you're agreeing to before you click Accept. And once we enter the store, the Android market, we see a list of applications that have either been uh, heavily downloaded, highly rated, or that uh, Google editors have deemed important. But to actually search for the applications that we want to find, if we want to browse, we can click on Apps here. And we can see they're broken down into categories. Uh, multimedia, news and weather, productivity, all kinds of categories like that. And also, if we tap back, which is this soft key here, we can choose to go into games. Go back one. So we can see arcade and action, brain and puzzle, card and casino, and casual. Let's have a quick look at some card and casino games. Solitaire is always a popular one. Let's grab that. Now we can see we get a brief description of the, uh, of the game that we're about to download or the application. We can scroll through all this information here. Most applications will offer screenshots so we can actually get an idea of what it's going to look like on our device. Here we see some user reviews. Um, Ken apparently says it's not too bad, uh, although he misspelled too, but that's another, another matter. He gave it four stars. We can see two stars here and five stars here. So this gives us a bit of an idea as, if this is an application we actually want to download. In this case, we'll chance it. We'll click on Install. Now, ordinarily, you can see here, successfully installed Solitaire. Usually, we'll get a, a warning that tells us um, what kind of phone features the, uh, the application we're about to download is going to try and use. So let's try this one. And again, read, see the screenshots. We'll choose to install. Now you can see here, this, this application wants to use our location, network communication, as well as um, phone calls. Now this is an important list to read because some applications will actually take uh, a lot of liberties and they want to use pretty much all the functions on your phone. So read this before you click OK. In this case, I'm OK with that. So you can see here, installing, downloading and installing. We can also tap and hold on the menu bar to see the status of the install. And then from here, we can actually launch the applications. If we go into Downloads, we can see any application. Oh, wrong one. We can see any application that we've downloaded. We'll try and get back there. Click on Downloads. So we can see any application that we've downloaded. If it's currently downloading, we'll see a progress bar here. Um, and once it's installed, we'll see that it has been installed. We can also launch the applications from here. If we hover over them and hold them, we can also get options to open application or uninstall it. So that's a quick look at the Android market. And that concludes this installment of our Nexus One tutorial series. Be sure to check out the show notes on Butterscotch.com. For Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.